In this day and age, it needs to be all about focusing on the learner. What does the learner want? And it's a different customer. And that was one thing we really had to get. How do we go after that learner and think about them as really, they are due north, they're the true customer. To be able to achieve great performance, as we saw in the five universal truths, it requires us to have a new mindset and to have a new skill set. We need to be able to understand our strengths, the unique attributes that we bring, our unique value proposition to those around us. What we find time and time again is that these top performers really have a different approach to the job. They have a different mindset, they have a different mental model, just fundamentally different than everybody else. Typically, they don't even know they think differently. So our goal with this approach is to uncover that mindset, bake it and roll it out to the rest of the organization, and it turns into a design point. If you change the behaviors of your managers, if you install a new, new tools, a new knowledge network, and that people suddenly share more, learn more in their daily job, and that you can prove that the learning culture of the company has improved, well, I don't think that anybody, even the CEOs, will ask you for more proofs of the impact you have. Storytelling is so important in today's world. You guys have more data than ever, and some of the stuff you're gonna see from EdCast that I got to see earlier today, like mind-blowing stuff. Upskill a large population of people that have been underserved in terms of access to higher education. Whether it's the information, it's the collaborative environment, or it's content that is rendered how he or she wants it and on whatever device. And with a dashboard that is personalized to that learner. We want you to share your knowledge. Giving them tools like EdCast to be able to do that, to share knowledge and have it be very clear where that's going, how it's being used, and probably more importantly, that I'm getting recognized and rewarded for sharing that knowledge. Not focus so much on the technology and how we bring it all together, but back to some fundamentals, and my fundamentals that I always go back to are design and measurement. We have to be the guide on the side, and we have to actually encourage and enable the technology to make the connections between the people with tools like EdCast, right, that wonderful capability to learn from peers who throw a kind of an epiphany out there that I can start taking advantage of right away. We believe that we can get your learning content even closer to your workers.